When I was at school, I enjoyed the metalwork and woodwork technologies, the more hands-on subjects. Uh, well, I was already working after school at an engineering firm, so that sort of put me in to the engineering industry, and I just sort of wanted to carry that on. Found out about the pre-trade at SIT, we carried on, and now I'm here. And Dad's an engineer, so he sort of pushed me a wee bit into that as well. And it was just down the road from home, so just went in there and asked him for a job, and he said yes. My pre-trade training was in mechanical engineering, level two at SIT. On a day-to-day -day basis, it can range from jobs here in the workshop or fixing stuff in the plant, just general maintenance, or yeah, anything like that really. It can range from fabrication and machining and site fabrication. I like this job because there's a lot of variety and I'm never doing the same thing every day. It changes quite a lot and it's very hands-on, very active and working with other people is also good to get other experience and learn from them. I'm doing my apprenticeship through ATNZ and I'm still studying. I've got a night class coming up and I'm still doing e-learning online, earning my credits towards my apprenticeship. The, the school qualifications I needed to get into SIT was Level 1 Maths and English to be able to go for the pre-trade, to be accepted. Yeah. I originally started off liking welding a lot more but now that I've had more experience and hands-on activity with the lathe, I'm enjoying machining a lot more. Uh, we have 10 staff here in our maintenance department. Um, our maintenance department primarily is to maintain um, the superphosphate manufacturing plant here in Aorua. In total on site we have 43 people. Um, nationally we have, uh, balance employs 770. Um, so the Overall on site the jobs can range between lab technician, operators, general operators, forklift operators, loader drivers, um, tradesmen, so we have um, engineers, uh, we have um, mechanical fitters, we have electricians, um, so yeah, a large range of people here on site. The key attributes of people that we look to employ here on site are someone who's a self-starter, motivated, someone who's got a good level amount of energy. Um, we don't like people standing around hands in pockets. Um, someone who can be a team player as well as working on their own. Um, somebody who has a driver's licence, uh, especially a school leaver, because that to us spells out that um, they're already on their learning curve and they're already um, out there and throwing themselves out there and keeping that, keeping that um, growth going. Um, somebody who likes to solve problems. Uh, we fix things, that's what we do. Um, so any of those sort of attributes is um, things we can look for. Um, all our training comes from on the job, um, so if they've got the right attitude, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to have any previous experience in engineering for us to take them on as an apprentice. 